What is up guys, it's the Fighting Therapist here and for today's video, it's actually going to be a session that we did with Devin on Fight Week. So this one is more based off of just some technical stuff that we're working on, some shadow boxing, some footwork, a little bit of pad work, a little bit of ring work just in the ring. And as well, I did get interviewed by Matt Rhodes, just asking some questions about the plan. Some of the things that I did say in the video with the interview with Matt do coincide with my last video. If you didn't see that, you can go click up here. I'll just put the link to the last video that was posted yesterday. And the purpose that Matt wanted to film and just ask me some questions was just to go over a lot of the comments that are being said about Devin, about me, about him training him, about that I'm out to kill him or I don't know, some weird hilarious things that actually just make me laugh. And as I say in the video, just like you guys will see, I'm not doing the fight. Devin is taking it no matter what. It's his choice. And the team at TriStar and then them sending me to go with Devin, Dev choosing me to be his corner man, to be his last, you know, week and a half of coaching, his last sparring session. It's all really just to help him and give him as much as he can. And I keep repeating myself. <laughs> Devin is fighting a big fing guy that's gonna hit him really hard in the fing face. Sorry for my language, but that's what's going to happen in the fight game. So some of the sparring footage where you do see Devin getting hit hard and me going a little bit difficult on Devin. Yes, I'm going to be doing that because Devin is going to be f***ing hit in the face by someone that's massive and that has a lot more experience. So yes, I'm pushing Devin. Yes, I'm going to hit him hard. Don't forget, Devin had such a short notice fight that we're not going to just throw him in the ring on week one or two or even three and just bust him in the face, possibly get a concussion from sparring and then go and do a fight with another massive guy that has at least 50 to 60 pounds over him. There's a lot that had to be considered, a lot to be taken down. That was just like my little talk to try to get my point across of what's been going on. But I hope you guys enjoy the footage from the interview with Matt and then a little bit of some behind the scenes work that we're working with Devin for the fight this Saturday. Hi guys, I'm here with Zach, who's the sparring partner and trainer of Devin Larratt. So he's just going to explain to you guys how this has come about, that he was uh, put together with Devin, and what the process has been that they've been working on since you started with him. Yeah, exactly. So, because none, I don't know if you guys have been watching Devin, but he's taking the fight no matter what. So it's not on me that I'm just giving Devin as many skills and tools that I can. So then when it comes fight night, he's the best prepared with the little time frame we had. I know a lot of people are saying he had five weeks. He actually only had four, technically. And like the week of the fight, you're not really doing much besides some technical fighting. So he really only had three and a half weeks to get ready for the fight, to do conditioning, to learn the sport, to learn timing, to learn moving, to learn how to breathe, to learn how to get punched in the face. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot for anybody and someone that's completely out of the sport, zero cardio. It's honestly great. He's came a long way uh, being able to spar with him on day one and being able to spar with him yesterday for his last sparring session. Uh, two days ago, his last sparring session. It was uh, really great. It was nice to see. 
And as a client, how coachable is he? Has his time in the military yeah. helped uh, that? He's really good. He listens, man. He listens, and what's great about it is he knows that if he had more time, it would have been that much better because he knows that he just has to drill it as much as we can. And like I mentioned, that's why right now that's all we're doing. We're trying to just get in reps on reps on reps, really high volume, lower intensity since it is fight week, so we want him to recover as much as possible but just to rep as much as we can, just so it's ingrained in him. But great, he's an athlete, you know, even though he's an arm wrestler, he's, a, he's an athlete, he's the best in his category, and he tries to, he wants to be the best in the world. So all we're trying to do is, uh, when you have an athlete like that, they typically listen, no matter what the sport is. They listen, they listen to what you have to say, and they just drill and drill and drill. I find athletes all across the board, especially now we have CrossFit athletes, we got uh, strong men, they listen, man. They listen and they know a coach knows what to do. I'm going to listen to him and I'm going to do it as best as I can. So Devin's honestly really great and came a long way. So it's fair to say he's as ready as anybody can be with four weeks training. Yeah, yeah, four weeks training, 100%, 100%. Especially, not even that, but he's doing really great with what he has available to him. And in boxing, this is extremely important. So having Thor that I think has a 90 inch reach, 92, I may be mistaken, but roughly in the 90s, Devin that should have about like an 80 something, but then you take away about four inches on each side. So we're really trying to work with what he has and he realizes that. So he understands that the game plan is going to have to switch a little bit. So really good, really good. Okay, well, wish you guys very good luck. I'm glad he's in safe hands. Somebody out of TriStar, everybody knows. Yeah. Anyone that comes from there is a decent coach, so he's Thank in you. safe hands. Yes. Okay. Thank Ciao. you, Zach. See you guys. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you guys do know when these videos come up. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.